Um, one is um, short responses, short written responses. Now, of course, we're living in the age of Twitter, and, uh, and some, I don't use Twitter myself. But I think there is a, a certain skill in writing a short, concise, analytical uh, piece of writing. And so I encourage students to do this in answering a kind of uh, a, a provocative question in each of the lectures or all the big group meetings that I teach. Now, I teach very large lectures, by my standards, as large as 200 odd students. Um, this is a way of encouraging them to come along because, of course, if you put assessment into the context of the large group lecture, then you'll get a better attendance. And attendance is generally up to 90% all the way through the course, whereas in many cases that used to tail off after the, um, you know, into the final third of the, of the course. So this is, this is one benefit. Uh, this is one way in which uh, this has been effective. But the way in which it's really effective is in motivating students because they supply their own perspectives on these uh, questions, which pertain to the next lecture topic. What I do in the meantime, in between, in between those meetings, is analyze that data and I produce uh, representations of it in graph form and also textual form. So when students come along to the next lecture, I embed their, their feedback into the lecture uh, meeting. Uh, and uh, they get to see the, their own perceptions uh, or interpretations of that question, their ex analyses of it on uh, the big screen. This is a way in which they can actually um, begin to get to grips with how each other are thinking about a particular question. It's also a really interesting inroad into the topic of the day. Uh, so, for example, we talk about nationalism. The provocative question might be, you know, what nation do you feel you belong to and why? And this sets up an enormously interesting debate because in Hong Kong, at least, most of the students, even though they are um, ethnically Chinese, would not describe themselves as Chinese. Uh, they would just prefer to describe themselves using other terms. They don't identify with the Chinese nation in the way that it's contemporary, uh, conventionally understood. And it's a fantastic inroad into that whole uh, area.